Hello, I'm Martin Marshall. I'm a family doctor in East London and Professor of Healthcare Improvement at UCL, as well as working as Vice Chair of the Royal College of General Practitioners in the UK. I'm honoured and delighted to be invited to speak at the Nordic uh, Congress for General Practice. This is going to my be my first visit to Iceland and I'm really excited about being there. In my keynote, I'm going to get the crystal ball out and look to the future. Some years ago, I used to be concerned about the future of general practice in a world that was increasingly seduced by specialism. So many leaders in our health system seemed to suggest that generalism, especially medical generalism, was dead. But I'm no longer concerned about this. What we're seeing around the globe is a re-emergence of the generalist in all aspects of healthcare. We're seeing hospitalists running hospital, general physicians running hospitals. We're seeing an increasing emphasis on learning generalist skills within training curricula. Most of the arguments in favour of generalism have been ones about the cost effectiveness rather than representing a deep understanding of what generalists do. But in some ways the reason doesn't matter. The fact is generalism is on the up. So I'm not concerned about generalism per se, but I do remain concerned about the future of the GP, the family doctor, the expert medical generalist. So much of what we traditionally hold dear, things that we base our role and our identity around, is under threat in modern society. We live in a world that's more technical and less relational. We live in a world that values short, sometimes virtual interactions rather than substantive relationships. We live in a world in which less emphasis is placed on families and communities, a world that values access and choice and speed. How should we as GPs respond to that? I guess there's two ways that we could do so. First, I think we must challenge these societal changes when they run counter to what we think makes a society humane. GPs are well respected. We can be guardians of what is good about society. This is a difficult but important role to play. But I also think as GPs we need to adapt to the changes and develop our role in a way that adds value to the new ways that society might work. Coming from the UK, I'm in a particularly good place to explore these issues. The UK was once described as an offshore laboratory for health policy experiments. And I have to say there's plenty going on in general practice at the moment. We're experimenting with different structures, in particular, larger scale general practice. We're experimenting with different workforce models, with GPs sometimes in the front line and sometimes back from the front line. We're experimenting with different ways of managing professional practice and different approaches to addressing the social element of the biopsychosocial model that we hold so dear, an approach that expands and demedicalizes traditional concepts of health. Some of what's happening in the UK is promising. Some of it, to be honest, is frankly silly, but all of it's interesting. And I think there's plenty of learning for all of us. So I hope that you can join me in Reykjavik in June, and I really look forward to meeting you.